Okay, so moving on to the ETFs, because I think this has obviously been a centerpiece. I mean, it's just, it really has blown me away as an analyst for how much inflow we've seen into these things. Now, of course, there is a very interesting dynamic, and we'll spend more time on this in the next chart. But we have GBTC, which previously, well, sorry, I shouldn't say previously, still is the gorilla in the room. Um, it still holds 440 something thousand BTC. Now that is down from a high, I mean, back at the absolute peak, it was 661,000 BTC. We've seen about 150 or 160,000 Bitcoin get pulled out of the GBTC ETF. So on net, we've seen an enormous amount of redemption um, for a variety of reasons. There's lots of investors who want to move away from the much more expensive 1.5% fee. There's many investors who probably held through the premium going through to a discount and probably weren't so happy with the uh, uh, trading at about 50% of NAV. There's a whole assortment of reasons why GBTC is seeing outflows. But what we have seen is IBIT, which is the BlackRock ETF, and Fidelity being the second largest. So um, number one and number two, excluding GBTC, 130,000 or just shy of for uh, for BlackRock and 96 or almost 97,000 Bitcoin um, flowing into Fidelity. So really quite just astounding numbers. We're talking about 6 billion, 5 billion. We're in the order of billions. Um, and during recent days, in fact, let's go down to this next chart. What I've done here is break down the daily flows. So this is the one day change. Now, this is not a perfect model. What I've essentially done here is because GBTC has been the dominant one that's been outflows, there's been outflows from some of the smaller ones on the occasional day, but for just for simplicity, just to kind of keep this chart nice and clean, I've essentially put any time that we have GBTC, I mean, it's been almost entirely outflows since, uh, since the ETFs went live. So the red bars really just show the one day change of GBTC. Um, the green bars is the one day change of everything that isn't GBTC. So again, just trying to simplify the model. Um, and what we're looking at here in the blue line is that net flow, right? So on a daily basis, in USD terms, what is the net flow? Now, just to put things into a bit of perspective, um, during mid-February, we were hitting numbers of, uh, you know, on net $430 million a day. At the peak, $830 million a day, um, it's 250. We are in the order of hundreds of millions of dollars, sometimes almost half a billion dollars in net inflows. Um, this is, just, it really is incredible, right? And on the scale of one to successful ETF, this is probably at the top end of successful ETF. Um, very few ETFs in history have seen these kind of inflows. Um, I believe that the uh, both BlackRock and Fidelity have actually pipped the record for the top 30 day flows uh, out of any ETF. So a really quite extraordinary results, um, but it just shows you that this is, this is quite sizable. Now, the other thing to note is that GBTC outflows are starting to decline, right? We're having some, I mean, it started down here where we had, you know, $600 million in single day outflows, right? 550, 500. These are very big numbers. We're starting to get down to 25 million, down to 150 million, down to 90 million. These numbers are starting to get much smaller in terms of the GBTC outflows. And we are actually starting to see, and again, we had a couple of quieter days on the net inflows, but it seems to be picking up as we move into this week. So really quite exciting and, and, and fascinating stuff.